Okay, hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than anything I've ever done before. I want to talk to you about the Mandela Effect. Now, I'm a huge fan of like weird things, unsolved mysteries, like alien stories, ghost stories, uh, conspiracy theories, all that kind of stuff. So I thought it would be really cool if I talked to you today about the Mandela Effect. And the reason why I'm starting with this video is because I have my own personal Mandela Effect that I want to talk to you guys about. And I want to ask you if it's something that you've experienced as well. So I guess I should start by explaining what the Mandela Effect is. The Mandela Effect refers to a large group of people that share the same false memories of the past. Now the term false memories, that's used in psychiatry to kind of debunk this whole phenomenon, this whole thing that's going on. But people who really believe in the Mandela Effect say that these memories are caused by parallel universes spilling into our own or maybe even time travelers that changed something to change our reality there's a huge theory as to what the mandela effect is it has to do with cern and sally fields and all these kind of crazy theories the mandela effect dates back to 2010 when a blogger named fiona bloom coined the term the mandela effect her and a few others started to talk about the former South African president, Nelson Mandela. They talked about how they remembered his imprisonment in the 1980s and how they remembered him dying. And this took off because that's when she realized that there was a phenomenon here. This is a quote by her. See, I thought Nelson Mandela died in prison. I thought I remembered it clearly, complete with news clips of his funeral, the mourning in South Africa, some rioting cities, and the heartfelt speech by his widow. Then I found out he was still alive. I think this thing that I'm about to tell you next is what really made me question this reality and made me kind of wonder and entertain the idea of the Mandela Effect. There was also a book. There is a quote in the book that says the chaos that erupted in the ranks of the ANC when Nelson Mandela died on the 23rd of July. Okay, that is pretty strong evidence if you ask me. Why would a book not fact check? You know what I mean? When you write a book, it doesn't just go through one person. It goes through many hands. It goes through many readers, editors, all these people, and no one caught that? How could an author be mistaken about someone's death? Not only that, but this was from a South African author, and Nelson Mandela was a South African president. So how could someone make such a huge error about the most famous man in their country? So I really hope that that gave you guys a general idea of what the Mandela Effect is. If you feel like I didn't explain it correctly or you kind of still don't understand it, there are tons of videos out there that you guys can watch explaining it in greater detail, so no need to worry you guys, there's tons of information on it. But I just want to show you some of my favorite Mandela Effects that are currently out there in the universe and they're really really popular ones but for me these were like the smoking guns and the ones that made me think like whoa this could be real so I'm just gonna go through a list of a couple of them and show you so you can kind of get an idea of which ones for me made me think like hmm and made me kind of get into it and like delve further into this Mandela effect world so here we go it's from a movie called Moonraker with a character named Jaws who has silver teeth. There's a scene in the movie where he meets a girl and she looks at him and smiles. And there's a moment where they have this connection. It's a suggested connection and they feel as though they fell in love instantly or that's what they're suggesting. So the whole thing is that many people remember that Dolly used to have braces and that's what would kind of make this scene make sense. Because if he smiles and you see the silver in his mouth, when she smiles, she's supposed to have braces, so therefore he would see the silver in her mouth and they would fall in love. Without the braces, it makes zero sense. Okay, so you may be thinking like, well, that's, you know, not really a big deal, but the description for Dolly that's actually on the website for the film says that she had braces her character description shows that she had braces so why would that say that she had braces if she didn't and again the scene makes no sense without the braces
So there were also commercials to just further prove that Dolly used to have braces and now she doesn't. You take Visa Mini? Yo, this is yes. Good. I'm gonna get a few things. Telling me. Even today, I don't think that there's commercials with people with braces unless it's, you know, a commercial about braces. Also made it such a point to make sure that we know that she had braces. So it just, it doesn't make sense. Why would there be like a parody kind of commercial with a girl smiling at him with braces as a nod to Moonraker? You know what I mean? And then if, okay, let's say the braces were just a coincidence, but why? Like, how could that be? It just, it really makes no sense to me. So I really, I really love this one. And I just think that to me, like I keep saying, this is, this was a smoking gun. So this Mandela effect, I think will affect lots of you because this is one of the most iconic movie lines of all times. When Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father. Well, it turns out he never said that. The actual line is, no, I am your father. And it just seems weird that tons of people would remember it as Luke, I am your father, including James Earl Jones himself, who is the voice of Darth Vader. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. So in this Mandela Effect, this is also another one that I remember really clearly. In the movie Forrest Gump, there's a line where his mother says, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But now the line is, life was like a box of chocolates. I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember it being life was like a box of chocolates. It's life is like a box of chocolates. If you look, there's tons of evidence where people actually find on the box of the original VHS that it says life is like a box of chocolates. But now when you watch the movie, it says life was like a box of chocolates. So that's another one that was really a smoking gun for me. But right here, you can see that this is the VHS movie. I actually bought it yesterday for its gun. Uh, it was released in 1994. Uh, Life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. So those were just a few of my favorite. To me, like I said, those were the ones that are most convincing. And those are the ones that, I mean, there, there are a lot of smaller kind of Mandela effects that have to do with just like logo, logos changing and stuff like that but to me these ones were the most convincing and these are the ones that I was just like wait I remember it to be this certain way in my reality and all this stuff so those are my favorite ones uh, but you can like I said you can look up there are tons of videos on this and I mean just even like if you google it tons of things come out so I really want you guys to go and check that out if this is something that you think is interesting Okay, so now it's time to talk about my personal Mandela effect and the reason that I decided to make this video. Okay, so most of you guys may know the actor Henry Winkler. He was the Fonz on Happy Days and he was like a womanizer and best known for always getting the girls. Okay, so I mean, you know, I never put much thought to him. I wasn't like a huge fan or anything, kind of just, you know, I knew that he existed in the world. So recently I was watching a show called Better Late Than Never. And it's a show with Henry Winkler, Terry Crews, George Foreman, uh, William Shatner, and Jeff Dye. And they're just a group of guys and they all kind of travel the world and go through all these adventures and stuff. So I'm watching it, again, not giving much thought to Henry Winkler because, I mean, it's not that I'm not a fan, but it's just, you know, one of those people is just around. It's just like, okay, cool. So I'm watching the show and then Henry Winkler grabs his phone and he calls his wife. So in the moment as, watch, as I'm watching the show, I'm thinking, he has a wife? I thought he was gay, right? 
So it was just a passing thought, and I'm like, wow, that's weird. I thought he was gay, and you know, it, like in my memory, it had came out about two years ago that he was gay, and it was on the news, and it was like this huge thing because uh, the Fonz, who was the womanizer and getting all the girls, was actually gay. So I didn't give much thought to it. I kind of was just like, well, maybe I'm I'm wrong. But then later that night, the thought came back to me, and I'm like, no. I specifically remember watching the news because you know how they do it like every time someone's gay it's like brand like on the news like top story and stuff so I mean whatever but that was a huge story in my reality in my memory it was like on extra ET all those shows there's like segments of it I remember having this memory so vividly and it just seemed so real to me and I kept thinking like there's no way I remember seeing that and the reason why it felt even more like a real memory to me is because I think like I'm not even a fan of Henry Winkler like I never think about him so why would I have this memory this huge memory of him and like his personal life if I'm not even a fan you know what I mean it would be different if it was like Bill Skarsgård or something and then like that's why I remembered it so clearly I don't know I mean maybe it can also work in the opposite way I'm not a fan so I heard incorrectly but I just, I specifically remember this. So, I was expecting to see lots of articles with people asking it. And maybe, yeah, they would say, oh no, he's not gay. He's been married for so many years. But I just still thought that there would be, you know, people asking this question or articles on it or something. Because why would I just put that in my head? There's no other celebrity that I'm like, yeah, he's gay for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, this memory seems so vivid to me. I thought maybe I didn't see these huge news stories and I just imagined them somehow, but I must have got that idea from somewhere. I thought, okay, well maybe, you know, sometimes they start, you know, the hashtags start R.A.P. Sylvester Stallone or different celebrities and it's like a false death thing and everyone thinks they died but they're really not dead. So I thought, okay, maybe it was a thing where, yeah, Henry Winkler's gay but he wasn't really gay. So I thought, my, this memory has to be stemming it from somewhere. I got it from somewhere. So I thought when I googled it that there would be tons of articles or like, you know, just things dismissing it. There was only one thing that I found. So usually when, when people are questioning if an actor is gay or not, there's multiple articles and multiple videos or whatever. But I only found one. And it just seems weird that if this wasn't a huge thing, why would someone make an article about it Okay, so this is what I found very interesting. It says, Fans of the Fonz have eagerly been googling terms like, Is Henry Winkler gay? They want to know all the juicy details on whether or not Wink Winkler is coming out of the closet. Then it goes on to ask, Is he gay? And it gives this huge paragraph. And then it talks about his wife that he's been married to forever. So okay, this is what was kind of like interesting to me so then I think it wasn't just my reality and my memory there had to be more people because why would it say fans have been eagerly googling and then it's like okay well where are all these google searches like where are the articles about it or where are the yahoo answers about it because there's yahoo answers about everything like oh why do why do people I don't know I, I wanted to say one but I don't want to be offensive whatever <laughs> There's Google like answers questions about the silliest things, so there wouldn't be at least one about Henry Winkler. But then yet, yeah, someone made a whole article about it because enough people were asking or Googling this question. So I just think it's so weird. And then I just remember it so vividly. I don't know, I mean, you guys tell me what you think, tell me if that's a reality that you remember, a memory that you have, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But I just thought it would be kind of cool to make my first video like this about one of my own personal Mandela effects. I really want to start making these kind of videos on my channel. Like I said, I'm really into like ghost stories, conspiracy theories, alien abductions, uh, missing persons, weird unexplained stuff. I'm always interested in that. I'm like reading stuff about it, watching videos about it and stuff. So I thought like I've always wanted to bring this to my channel, but I kind of thought Maybe you guys wouldn't like it, I don't know. So I was thinking like maybe I should start a separate channel just for this or maybe I should incorporate it into my channel. But what I've noticed is that when I started doing the ghost videos, I was kind of nervous about it as well, like the ghost hunting because, you know, I didn't know if you guys would like it or not. But those, those are my most requested videos. Like when you guys send me messages on Instagram or wherever, you guys always talk about 
the ghost hunting videos. Those are the only videos I ever get like requests for or I get messages about. So then I thought, okay, well cool, you guys like that. So I'm kind of wondering if you guys would like these kind of videos. Um, probably gonna do it anyways, not gonna lie, but I'm just curious as to what you guys think about it and I think it would be kind of cool to share, like, this is something I really like, like I'm really interested in things like this, so I think it would be cool to make videos around something I'm really interested in. But I don't know, you guys let me know. So, um, yeah, let me know about your Mandela effects, let me know if the Henry Winkler thing is a reality for you. Let me know uh, if you like these kind of videos. And as always, guys, just please remember to like this video if you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.